like it is to look at her. My Canadian girl. Hi guys, this is Brenda from my Wee Wee Bones Cradle and I have Wendy Christina. She is one of my twin A's. I do have two of them as twins, Wendy and Wyatt, but today I just have Wendy. Um, today is a special day. I have packed up a bag for her to go visit daycare. So, um, it's not really daycare, it's just somebody who wants to, uh, spend some time with some rewards. So, I thought I'd pack her up a little bag and share with you what I have. But first, I have to change her into her outfit. Um, I will be sending her jammies, though, because, um, let's see if I can get her. Oh. <laughs> In just a minute. So here is Wendy. She is the twin A sculpt by and Bonnie Brown. She is so sweet. So um, I love this jemmy outfit on her because it has scratch mints and also the fact that it's Canadian, <laughs> which I love. Being in Canada, of course. Um, I'll show you what I plan on putting her in and show you what's in the bag so i don't waste too much time i'll just move her over gently over to the side okay so i have these shoes for her that fit her perfectly um and it also matches her outdoor sweater perfectly i have some socks for her outfit So her hands is dealing with a cold, so her little coughing fits. Here is her pants, overall pants set. They are light pink plaid with a light beige, well, kind of like a beige, kind of like a light, light brown, um, cocky, cocky brown. Um, there's embroidered flowers on the front. One of the flowers has a happy face. And uh, the other flower is white with pink center. And there's pink snaps on the overalls. They're long pant overalls. And at the very bottom near the um, pant leg cuff, there is another flower, two flowers actually, and they are identical, embroidered the same as at the top. And <laughs> sorry, I can't explain too well. There's nothing on the back, it's just a plaid. Um, light pink, beige, and white. I forgot to mention the white. But underneath, um, I decided to just have her in this um, onesie. It's a white onesie with light beige monkeys, girl monkeys all around, and pink polka dots everywhere. Sorry, <clears throat> my voice. And there's a little bow in the center of the collar. So cute. So these and this and socks and put it up so you could see there. And then I thought that hat over there. And this sun hat because it's very sunny outside, very hot outside. It has um it's a light pink ruffled sun hat infant. A newborn size and there's a teddy bear embroidered on the front so I thought they all match perfectly and they all look great so I'll dress her up in that soon um some of you have may have seen this bag before but this is an Avon bag and being a consultant that used to be for products and for demo products and brochures and it's an organizational bag but I love it now for Oh, I've got to take this off. For the dolls. I love it. It has lots of pockets inside. Lots of organizational. 
and let's see what's inside for Wendy to go to daycare. I'm just going to pull out things that are not in order at all. So first off, I have this really cute pouch. It's actually a sandwich bag. So it is waterproof on the inside and it was made by Calibri Canada and everything. It's kind of like handmade stuff. But in this bag, like this, this cloth material is waterproof. Um, but I am using it for, um, here's a brush for her hair. And I'm not sending any of the spray, like for her hair or water. But um, I do have, in case she wants to put this into her hair, I have one that could match her outfits or one like this that could match her outfits. So I thought they were really cute. She can have a choice if she wants to use them or not. But keep them in here for her. Isn't that cute? Um, these are for props. These are wipes. Um, they are baby fresh um, for this scent as well. But mostly I use them for props. <clears throat> I have an extra outfit in here. She wants to change her. It's a it's a light pink dress and it looks like it's a, like an animal print, but it's very very faint. And it's a one piece, but there's a it's like a dress attached to a onesie. And it's a summer dress and it looks really pretty. So I have that in case she wants to change her. Um oh, this is a bib that I love. Happy glamper. <laughs> Our family is huge on camping or glamping, I should say. But I also love this because it will fit her. It's not too big for her. I have this for a prop. And it also rattles. It's for the sound effects. I have a beautiful blanket that I will wrap her in when I take her over. So this will stay out. <clears throat> I have, this is a pacifier container, and I just put this passy clip around it, but just so it won't get lost. She doesn't have to keep it on there or nothing, I just, but here's the passy clip, it's like a homemade kind on a mini Mickey Mouse ribbon. <clears throat> that will match anything as beige, so I like that. But in here, I have a couple of pacifiers that will match her outfits that I'm putting her in and outfits that she has with her. So, and they will fit her mouth. There's this one. So I might leave this one out because I want to... Or maybe this one. <laughs> Whichever one matches the jacket the nicest. Probably this one. They both match, but I think I'll save that one out. <clears throat> Here is a bag of diapers. I'm only sending four. Um, she, doesn't, <laughs> she even doesn't even need to use these at all. But if she feels like it, then she's welcome to. That's part of the fun of the hobby, <laughs> I think. I'm saying that here's another blanket. It has heart roses all over it. And it's a really beautiful light pink and white. And the greenery is like a dark beige-ish green. I really like it. On the other side, it's just a plain pink. So that's really pretty, pretty blanket. I'll refold that. Um, here is a prop <laughs> plus make sound effects, which I really like. <laughs> um, this is a prop, peach baby food, and I should have another one in here for her. Yes, that's the. I made this one on a video recently, 
and I made that one to go with it after like not on camera I made this one on camera there's some prop baby food <clears throat> I have a prop bottle a vintage uh, it says hello baby on there and it's by I don't know what it says oh it's just a company but it's a bit uh, Betty Boop when she's a little baby it's light pink on the back and on the front is white with a baby Betty Boop cartoon hello baby <laughs> um, this here is a change pad a real one but I like using it for props and pictures and videos so leave that in there for her I got this free years ago well it came in a diaper bag that I got so. on this side see if you see everything has these pockets too On this side, this is baby powder, and there should be, yeah, here's a, the little, well, it's supposed to be like a makeup brush, but I've been using it for powder. I love just dipping the powder and going like this on her clothes or on her cloth body. I don't mind. It will not stain. I've done it for years. Um, I love it. I love the smell so much. We don't have baby cologne in Canada. So I love to use this just for the smell mostly. But another tip for the twin A's is these are new pacifiers. And for me, I to help them fit in the mouth really easy, I've put baby powder on them. So yeah, I just put baby powder on them, on the ends like that, and that way they just slip right into her mouth. You don't have to fight or anything. Let's see, it's windy. Let's see if I can get her higher so you can see. It just slips right in there. See, it's so easy. Oh, too cute. So I also use baby powder for that reason. Um, in here I have, these are real baby spoons. I just wrap them up in here just in case if she does want to role play and play with them. Then she has uh, a sanitary place to put them back when she is done using them. And for moisture reasons. Say if she did wash them. You know, sometimes they're not always completely dry, so put them in this baggie for her. Um, this is extra, this is for props. These are extra um, milk, formula milk for for her. They just have the lids on them because I will have this one right here. So this one is filled has a nanny's no hole and it's already powdered so it will excuse me sorry about that my throat is really bothering me but um it will slip in her mouth quite easily the twin a can take a full bottle <laughs> hair all of it a full bottle and a full pacifier so that's for her for a little play. I think that's it from the front. Um, on the side, I have a tiny little bit more. I have this for props. This is a teether, but also for props. This is a face cloth, and also just in case if she needs to wipe her down or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is a cloth for her to wipe her down or anything or just use her props, but it's also in, it's clean, but I 
stored it in a bag. Excuse me. <clears throat> I stored it in a bag just in case if she decides to role play with it. And it gets damp or something. And then this is also for role play. Some rice cereal. So, yeah. And that's all that I have in the bag for her. So, it will be fun. I hope that she enjoys her time with her. And she enjoys daycare. Her hair <laughs> gets easily messy. Oh, But there she is. This is Wendy Christina. Looking so cute. Uh, Wendy wears size newborn, by the way. Um, this one newborn is a little big on her, but I prefer it too big than too small. Like somebody was wearing it that he was, he was too big for him. But, oh, I love I love this hobby. It's so much fun. So calming. And I do love to make up role play bottles and role play food. Um, that was fun. I know it's not for everyone, but I like it. And I love, I love the props. The real props. It's so much fun. So anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Here is Wendy one more time before she goes. She won't be too long. She'll only be a day. A day. It's a day for so. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye, guys. Love you. Much hands. Magic. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.